this shrine here represents uh, one of the things it represents is business prosperity so you come here and you pray for business prosperity that's what we're doing now we just did a prayer for the fabric to succeed yeah. is that too much to ask for <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning, shall we? Before this adventure began, Fabio Grazio Marcato and Ryan were brainwashed by their budget airline playing, Hello Vietnam, on repeat. were not headed to Vietnam. Instead they were just passing through on their way to Kyushu, Japan. Their friends Soichiro and Natsumi took Fabio Grazio Marcato and Ryan into their home in Fukuoka for a few nights where they ate enough ramen and watched enough creepy doll television shows for a lifetime. Then the adventure truly began. Andiamo gente sexy. Okay, so we're on our own now. First. We've left the nest, we've left our Japanese friends, and now we're trying to do everything on our own and we're lost. And where do we go? We go to Nagasaki. 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 The, stop. the westernmost part of Japan, I feel like. Maybe not. But it looks, yeah, probably, yes. looks very west. Okay, Raya wants to inform you that, that I was wrong. Maybe it's Okinawa. Maybe these islands are more west. But Nagasaki is the westernmost part of Kyushu, essentially. <laughs> that filio di puttana was still wrong. The westernmost part of Kyushu is called Kozakihana. Okay, mister, so where are we? This is our forest room. Our first stop that is really It's Kauai. Kauai. And we've already okay. we've already messed it up with all of our stuff. If someone has comments on how to pack, please tell us because that is just awful. It's a defacement of Japanese minimalism. Yes, and tonight I will take a bath from this. Yes. I feel like you and the crane are best friends now. Oop. Kauai. Where are we? <laughs> We're in the Dutch quarters of Nagasaki. Granted, there's a Dutch street, but I don't actually know if we're here because it doesn't really look that Dutch. Maybe the streets do? Yeah, I beat the thing. Yeah, that's a little bit of an Amsterdam vibe. Okay, we're walking up the Dutch slope. This is once a settlement for foreigners living in Nagasaki. We're saying how quiet it is everywhere, and even talking at this decibel level feels like it's loud. We're, the loudest. we're the loudest people for kilometers. <laughs> oishi. I haven't tried to Totomo oishi. I'm pretty sure it's, it's oishi. really oishi. Nagasaki squid. And a sign. Yeah. Hi. Hey, hey, Shaki. Hi. Thank you. Hey. Arigato <laughs> gozai. Ready for karaoke. Ready for karaoke. Kawaii. Oishi. 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 I forgot all the other words. <laughs> Don't try to go inside a, a karaoke with an ice cream because you're not allowed. <laughs> so I'm waiting here. Do you need a vending machine? We have plenty. Open night, can you see
The next morning, the boys went to Ashima Island, also known as Battleship Island, but were too lazy to include this in here, so here is a link to another video. It stopped at 11.02, the time that the atomic bomb was dropped. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. What is I this? I actually don't know exactly what it is, but like every place you go in Japan, almost, this I guess the cultural one, but not only, you can get a stamp. Show the us. different ones. This is our first stamp, the Nagasaki this is our first Atom Bomb Museum. And I just stole this little book from the hotel we were in. It's a sad book. Yes. So what did you think of the Atomic Bomb Museum of Nagasaki? Very interesting, quite interesting. <laughs> so, we liked it. I mean, uh, I saw many documentaries about it, but uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's always like an actual topic. Yes. And yeah, it's always good to know more about it. Yeah, we're standing right in the hypo center, it's called. That's where they drop the atomic bomb. And actually, it looks like these trees have been exposed to an atomic bomb. <laughs> no. Really nice park. Peaceful park. The nipples are like the size of my glasses. No, way bigger um, than that. The nipples are like the size of my head. Okay, I think we have to, to cut out this part. <laughs> Another good Japanese design. Another good Japanese design. A horizontal element. That's good. Of course, we got more food at the first chance we could get. What are these? These are like, this is a mochi, right? They're all mochi. They're all mochi. This one had the uh, red beans inside. Yes. And, uh, sweet, sweet beans is delicious. And so soft. Put it in your mouth. One. Oishi? Oishi. Oishi. Soft. Soft, Soft sweet. Mmm. Gummy. Mmm. What does it look like? Mm, what is it? First, let's talk about where we're going. We're going to Kumamoto right now, which is another town or city that's on the water. So we're on our second leg of a three leg journey. I think three or four legs actually. Um, and we're about to go on the Shinbara Railway, which is out there. And this is like the cleanest station I've ever been in in my life. Like, I think you can lick the floor. I won't, but you could. Fabio's eating again, and this time what? Yeah, uh, not the snack. It's like these uh, beans that usually they have for breakfast and they're like, they look so gross. They, and they taste not so good, or they're an acquired taste. Yeah, they seem like uh, beans covered in spit. Yeah, spit covered beans. Eat it, taste it.
for tonight. Komamoto style ramen and chicken. Okay, don't mind our face, our faces, and because our we have a, and our nudity, because we just put some uh, weird uh, facial cream that we got from Bali. But wow, well, do you believe that we are in Japan playing Donkey Kong? We're playing Donkey Kong on a Super Mario console. Console, isn't it? Yeah, like the really old uh, SNES Super Show Nintendo. Them. Oh shit! No. You're not playing that well. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Yeah, every day in Japan consists of watching cute TV and drinking coffee and relaxing. Every morning, I mean. Every morning in Japan is just the most relaxing moment ever. Hello. Hello. Let's show our packing situation. Show our baby, the baby we carry around. Yes, this is the gimbal, which we have not, we have yet to use. We've had it for three months, and it's just one of these fucking things that I keep, I keep, I, keep, I can't lose because I'm renting it, um, and I just never have learned how to use it, and it's, it's annoying, it's heavy. Also, our other bags are horrible too, so this is why we don't give you advice on, this is why we don't give you backpacking advice, this is why we do digital nomad videos, because we're clearly not for backpacking here. Having There's... a big backpack is not smart, it's better like going around with like... Yes, and we're also, we're not showing one bag that we've shipped to Hokkaido as well, like our big bag. Cute, cute look like a... a Japanese village. Yeah, from Pokemon Scarlet in purple. Look at us in Kamamoto. Kumamoto we say <laughs> Kumamoto Castle. Kumamoto the that, castle. That is the castle up there. It's not what you traditionally may think of as a castle, but it is one. And it was destroyed in an earthquake, not destroyed, partially destroyed in 2016. Yes. And they're building it back up again. Yeah, we just reopened it. Yes. And we got another cute stamp. Let's get a picture there. We made it to the top. It was fast. Because um, all the ex uh, exhibition was uh, in Japanese and we didn't have the app, so we got there in like 10 minutes. Okay, we don't need to comment this, you got it. Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. What do you think about Kumamoto? Yeah, we're at the Sweet Zenji Gardens right now. This is cool, I think this is the most worth it thing in Kumamoto, but overall mediocre. What would you say? Prefer to Nagasaki. Okay, yeah, Nagasaki. The was nice, the food was good, but uh, yeah, we didn't have like the best things. 1500 Japanese style gate company. Yeah, just based on how hard it was to get here, I would say it's not worth it, but yeah, it's okay. You win some, you lose some. This shrine here represents, uh, one of the things it represents is business prosperity. So you come here and you pray for business prosperity. That's what we're doing now. We just did a prayer for the fabric to succeed. Yeah. Is that too much to ask for? Bam. A lot of mayonnaise, but good. Oishi. Oishi. The boys went on to Mount Azu, saw some active volcanoes and danced with Mongolian horses before heading on to Beppu. You can check it all out in the linked video. Be careful when you buy a ticket of the train in Japan. Yeah, 
chance we accidentally just bought a first class ticket, 50 euros, but it's nice, quiet. You're in first class. First class. Hello Ramona, I mistook you for a dream, the engine glow. Wow, look at that, look like a postcard. What is the name of this answer this again? Uh, we will check later. <laughs> yeah, we'll tell you this answer. By the way, what's the experience in the onsen? Yeah, the onsens are very particular. One thing, like, you separate. So you have arrived. Are separate. Sometimes they do have them together, but most of the time it's separate. Um, you're not supposed to have tattoos, which is a problem because I have one. Apparently, they're a bit more friendly here with tattoos, though. So you're naked. You're naked is yes. very interesting. Like, I think, like these places, cabin spaces where you can shower yourself with like a team, and there are all the products for the shower, yeah, um, body wash, yeah, you shampoo. start off in these little cubicles to shower, um, but you're sitting down actually, so you're showering with. Yeah, while sitting. And then you just have different baths. So you just jump from different baths, like the hot baths, the cold baths, the sauna, hot, cold. Yes. Yeah, and there, and we also found the sauna with a TV inside. They put TVs in their saunas here so that you can have something to think about while you're sweating your ass off. Yeah, let's see this one. It is different. Check it out. Let's check it out. Yeah. We had a surprising sand bath here as well, which is apparently famous in uh, Beipo and we did not know about it. They you wear a kimono and they just like cover you in sand, like you were as a kid, where your brother would just put sand on you, but it was so worth it. I fell asleep. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you don't see many foreigner restaurants or bars here. No, not so many foreign restaurants. Maybe when we get to Tokyo. Go. Okay, so this might not this might not seem so cool, but it is. Every train station, also any attraction you go to, you have lockers, um, and usually, you know, it's so useful because you have your stuff with you, and you can easily just store things away for a little while while you go and do your thing. So that's another it's, great innovation of Japan. Especially when you book an hotel, which has the check-in at four in the afternoon and the check-out at 10 in the morning. Exactly, and this one uses a QR code to open our locker. There it goes, and it's open. Yeah, look how full it is. <laughs> All our shit. In our place in Beppo, is it, a, it was a debacle to get here, but she, the lady's so cute that you can't be mad. We have a vending machine in our hotel. <laughs> Bad luck to open your umbrella under underground, well, inside. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Oh my god, I realize we're always, at least I'm always in the same clothes every morning. Yeah. Shot. We need a sponsor who send us clothes. I do have to say that these Please. clothes are clean now. We finally got around to doing what we were doing yesterday, so no more ramen stains on my shirt. Or coffee, yes. whatever it was. So we really liked this place. We hated the late check in at four, but yeah, the staff was very friendly. They were sending us prayers, yeah, yeah. and the toilet was saying hello. Hello. So, yeah, I mean, how could you be mad at like an old Japanese Oma? 
Yeah. And Opa. Yeah, I know a couple. From Tokyo. And now we'll show you the Whoa. Japanese sea. Because Baku is on the sea. Look how beautiful. Also with the mountain. All the sailboats, sailors. I don't know if you see, but this place is apparently constantly foggy. It literally like, seems like we're in the apocalypse. It's like the foggiest I've ever seen. We're in a cloud. Just very foggy. I'm not sure if it's usually like this or like... I guess yes. This is a hot spring for the legs. How is the hot spring for the legs? I want to just put my whole body in it. Looking good with the tanuki, touches balls. Okay, here we are at the Sea Hell. This is what this whole entire place is known for. Um, it's a little hard to see, but you can see it's like crystal clear blue. That's the entry to Hell, my friend. Boiling water with just the side to another rocks. <laughs> Can't see you. What a town. Oh, uh, yeah, we got postcards and a little crocodile origamis because there's crocodiles here, which we can't see because of the fog, but we will. Yeah, I'm kind of sad because I just realized it's like a zoo of crocodile. You might be lucky and seeing a wild boar. John Doe. Called John Doe. Look at that wild boar. That's what a wild boar does. Apparently, finally, we made it by feet to Shibazaki Onsen. What's the video? Oh, it's a video? Mine's mm -hmm. was the We're just like on the distance. Wow, it's so green. Look at the bus stop of Silent Hill. Yeah, we didn't find the little ramen place on this more touristic one. Mm -hmm. But it's delicious. Tempura chicken is the shit. Oishi. Back at another onsen three days in a row. Okay, we're rehydrating. That onsen was awesome. The best. The best, hands the down. The best. Yeah, and was also yeah, cheap. There was everything. There was sauna, there was a local room, mm -hmm. entertain us. A local entertain us and basically forced us to go in the steam room that was 50 degrees, and which was 50 degrees Celsius. For us. Yes. And we survived, even though like, you could tell from my face I'm a little flushed. All right, time to leave Beppu. Yeah, leave the onsen area. The onsen culture yeah. is behind us, but we'll find uh, more along the way. Yeah. So we just booked a Japan Rail Pass mm. and we will pick it up later because tomorrow we leave Kyushu and we want to visit like eight cities in a week. Oh God, sounds so exhausting.
Let's see.